let's say Sirius comes and crashes right into the moon. Now we have the moon heading our way. Scientists are in a state of panic. Telescopes and observatories around the world have detected an alarming anomaly. The moon is getting closer to Earth. As days turn into weeks, the moon grows larger and larger in the sky, an ominous presence that looms over the Earth. Then the unthinkable happens. The moon crosses the Roche limit, the distance at which the tidal forces overcome the internal gravity holding the moon together. So the gravitational forces from Earth start to tear the moon apart. Massive chunks of the moon break off and begin to rain down on Earth. The first piece Pieces of lunar debris enter the atmosphere, creating streaks of fire in the sky. These aren't shooting stars, they're deadly missiles. Massive boulders crash onto the earth, causing explosions and fires wherever they land. Cities are pounded by unrelenting barrage of lunar debris, leaving craters where buildings once stood. The chaos intensifies as Earth is bombarded. Tidal waves, hundreds of feet high, surge across coastal regions. Entire towns are swept away in minutes, and the force of the water pulverizes everything in its path. The seismic activity triggered by the moon's approach results in earthquakes of unprecedented magnitude. Fault lines rupture, causing the ground to split open and swallow buildings, roads, and anything else unlucky enough to be in the way. Skyscrapers, once symbols of human ingenuity, collapse into heaps of rubble. The heat generated by the incoming debris ignites vast wildfires. Forests, cities, and everything in between are set ablaze. The smoke from these fires, combined with the dust and ash from the impacts, creates a thick, choking cloud that covers the entire planet. The sun is blotted out, casting Earth into a dark, perpetual twilight. The sound is deafening, a constant roar of explosions and the earth cracking open. While the surface of the Earth is plunged into chaos, the situation in orbit is equally catastrophic. The International Space Station is now in grave danger. As debris slams into the ISS, it tears through the structure like bullets through paper. Solar panels are shattered, modules are punctured, and life support systems are critically damaged. The astronauts on board face a desperate struggle for survival as they attempt to make emergency repairs while dodging incoming debris. Communication satellites are also struck by the lunar fragments, severing links and causing widespread blackouts. GPS systems fail, making navigation impossible. The night sky, once filled with stars, is now a chaotic mess of glowing debris trails. The orbital environment becomes a minefield, endangering any future space missions and isolating Earth from the cosmos. The chaos we've been discussing might sound like a far-fetched nightmare, but thanks to animation and simulations, we can explore these what-if scenarios safely from our screens. So let me introduce you to our sponsor, Skillshare. It's the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes taught by industry experts. Whether you're interested in science, astrophotography, video editing, or even animation, Skillshare has you covered. Animation is a powerful tool that allows us to visualize and understand complex scenarios, like the moon crashing into Earth. Skillshare offers a wide range of classes on animation, from the basics of 2D animation to advanced 3D modeling. You can learn how to bring your creative ideas to life and even create your own simulations. What makes Skillshare unique is their learning paths, which are curated class collections designed to help you master a specific skill. And it's not just about learning, it's about doing. Skillshare encourages you to create and share your projects with the community, getting valuable feedback and growing your skills even further. Summer is the perfect time to explore new hobbies and passions. With more free time, why not delve into the world of animation and bring your wildest imaginations to life? I've been checking out the Animate Your Illustration class by Guillermo Ortega, and I loved how it helps you animate your designs with motion graphics and Adobe After Effects. For me, it's about learning how to make animations, but for you, it could be anything from learning astrophotography to improving your writing skills. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today and turn your I want to into I made it happen. In this chaotic environment, the air becomes difficult to breathe, respiratory issues become widespread, adding another layer of disaster to an already apocalyptic scenario. The lack of sunlight causes temperatures to plummet, leading to a sudden and harsh onset of what could be described as an impact winter. With infrastructure destroyed, emergency services overwhelmed and largely ineffective, communication networks are down, making coordination for relief efforts nearly impossible. People are left to fend for themselves, relying on whatever resources they can find or salvage. Governments and organizations around the world scramble to issue emergency alerts. The sheer scale of destruction makes coordinated efforts incredibly difficult. 
cold. In major cities, people rush to find shelter as the skies rain down debris. Underground bunkers, subways, and basements become makeshift refugees for those lucky enough to find them. Supplies quickly run low, and the struggle for food, water, and basic necessities begins. Military forces are deployed to maintain order and provide aid, but their efforts are hampered by the widespread devastation. Roads are impassable, communications are down, and infrastructure is in ruins. The priority becomes survival rather than restoration. The disintegration of the moon sends a vast amount of debris into space, forming a deadly ring around the planet. These fragments, ranging from tiny pebbles to massive boulders, orbit Earth at high velocities. The ring is composed of countless fragments, each reflecting sunlight and creating a spectacular yet ominous display in the sky. The constant bombardment of small debris particles creates a persistent meteor shower, causing smaller impacts and fires across the globe. For those looking up at the night sky, the rings are a constant reminder of the disaster that has befallen Earth. They glow with an eerie light, a mix of beauty and devastation. The survival the survival of such a catastrophic event would be highly unlikely for most of the world's population. Only those with extraordinary preparation and resources might have a slim chance of surviving. But even then, the long-term viability of human life on Earth would be severely compromised. What we've described is a purely hypothetical scenario. In reality, the moon is not on a collision course with Earth. In fact, it's doing quite the opposite. The moon is slowly drifting away from us at a rate of around 1.5 inches per year. This gradual movement is due to tidal forces between the Earth and the Moon. As the Moon's gravitational pull creates tides on Earth, the friction from these tides transfers energy to the Moon, causing it to move away slowly. So while the idea of the Moon crashing into Earth makes for an intense thought experiment, rest assured that our celestial neighbor is actually distancing itself from us. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more space adventures. Also share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What cosmic phenomenon should we explore next? Thanks so much for watching.